Absolutely, there's longevity in the Kata element uh, as opposed to the Kumite. So we have the World Games silver medalist in Ono Hikaru and the World Games bronze medalist, Lamu Xiong Grace, Olympic bronze medalist. She's won Karate One Premier League on two other occasions. She was silver medalist in Cairo, silver medalist in Rabat, and she did compete in Fukuoka and took the silver medal there again. Ono Hukaru will be going second. She's won five Karate One Premier Leagues. She was third in Kairos, third in Rabat, and she was the champion in Fukuoka. So this was the final, and it's a repeat of that. But this will determine who becomes grand winner. Now, the, for those of you who are not so familiar with kata, uh, it's a, a discipline that has an embassy, a shape. It's a performance on the kata on, uh, on the mat of a particular style. And this is going to be the kata papuren. And I can tell you that both athletes have chosen the same kata. So you at home, wherever you're watching this from, can make a direct comparison. So if you're unfamiliar with kata, kata is a part of the essence of Japanese life in other forms. The tea ceremony has a kata, Taudo, Kudo, Judo, other martial arts use kata. A way of practice. And it's part of a language that's passed down through the years from one sensei to another. Sensei being the chief instructor of a dojo, a place where people train. Well, now, Lamu Sean Grace has performed a fantastic match today, it has to be said. 
Grace by name, grace by nature. The score will be input by the judges. There are seven of those. The highest and lowest of those scores are taken away and the balance is the number of points that the athlete will be awarded. So, Lamu, Sean Grace will leave the tatami and make way for Ono Hikaru. As you see, she's wearing the gold embroidery on the shoulders. And that signifies that she is indeed the grand winner of the 2022 Karate Premier League series. And potentially has the opportunity to take that title and retain those gold braided shoulders for another season. If she can perform a kata to beat that of Lamu. Young Grace. Ah! Uno defeated Amo Young Grace in the last Karate World Premier League in Fukuoka in Japan. There is not your area of expertise, but you are a sensei. You run your own dojos. You have hundreds of students. No doubt you teach kata in your dojos with those ladies, etc. Uh, and your style since you started, tempo. But but you you know other styles and systems as well. Yeah, because we've attended so many events and we'll always watch the kata event. And I think. The same team runs through most uh, karate, basically balance, timing, speed, power, focus, breathing. That's what the judges will be looking for today. And today, you're not uh, a coach, you're, you're not a sensei, and you're not a judge. But you do have a opinion. You're a spectator with a view. Exactly. And uh, I don't want to put you on the spot necessarily, but like you at the end of this if you don't mind to say whether you would go red or blue okay Tremendous concentration from Ono Hikaru, the current grand winner of the Karate One Premier League. Now those scores will be put in. Wherever you're watching, viewers will no doubt have your own opinion 
of whether they believe red or blue was to win and Paul you kindly volunteered well, uh, to give your opinion in my humble opinion I think uh, the current champion will retain it I think you do indeed uh, and, and can you tell me why I think really her posture in the area and her focus and concentration mm -hmm. she was a little bit more focused I think personally but it was very close I mean both cards are very close well let's have a look red or blue which will it be and you're right Paul you should be a oh! coach as well as a Kumite coach and it is indeed 45.3 oh, oh, 45.3 against 44 Excellent.